Hi, this is Warren here. Today we are going to be looking at inserting the SIM card into our Huawei B525 uh, LTE router. So today we're looking at um, Telcom SIM card um, and we're going to be popping it in to our router. So at the moment, unfortunately, the lights do not allow, but we'll see that the mode light, this one over here, is red because there's no SIM card plugged in. So what we're going to do is pop off the SIM card and pop off the router, apologies, pop in the SIM card and then see what it does after that. So on the top of the router we've got the power and WPS button. We're going to hit power, hold it down and the lights should go off. There we go. Okay, flip it around. Now I'm going to pop off Part that holds the SIM card. And if we have a look closely at that bit, it shows you what type of the SIM card to enter. So we've all come across situations where we don't know, but um, this router actually gives you a little sticker to tell you what type of SIM card. So it's not the standard SIM, it's not the nano SIM, but it's the micro SIM. So I'm going to get my SIM card out. God. and now I'm going to pop it in now when you're pushing the sim card in it's just going to give you a little satisfying click there we go that's how you know it's in okay well that in pop the back cover back on there we go pop the router back up and power button on the top until the lights come back on. There we go. Okie dokie. So now what we're waiting for is we're waiting for mode light to go blue um, and then we're going to get a few signal lights on the side here. So we're just waiting for that to pop in. Okay, looking good. Notice how we got our signal lights there. Tells us we've got full mobile signal and we should in theory now be able to connect to the internet. If your SIM card is not active, these lights will not go on. Also your mode light will instead of shining blue, it will shine red. Um, that is quite actually the entire setup of the router for the Wi-Fi setup. If you have a look on the bottom, we've got a sticker with some information there. Here we've got the SSID, the Wi-Fi key, and also the router's IP listed in case you do want to make changes to the Wi-Fi network. Okay, that should be all with regards to the setup. If there's anything, any questions you have, leave us a comment. And um, if that video was informative at all, give us a, um, give us a thumbs up below. Thanks.